This interesting question. We have a big blue circle in which four congruent holes are made. The length of this green line segment that's 10 centimeter. Exciting part is with this limited information, we have to find the remaining area of blue circle. Let's check the solution. We'll solve the same question in two ways. Our first approach will be formal approach, solving the question using geometrical formulas and concepts. Second approach will be logical approach where we'll solve the same question without any formula. And that approach is really helpful when attempting multiple choice questions. Let's first rotate the figure and make the things in horizontal line. Now this area of blue region, which we have to find is area of full circle minus area of this four circular holes, which we have made. Now area will remain same if instead of these holes in a straight line, we would have made them randomly in the circle. So let's redistribute this first, second and third hole randomly throughout the circle. Now to solve it, let's draw a perpendicular bisector for this green chord. And by theorem, the perpendicular bisector of chord, it passes through center of circle. Now as it's perpendicular bisector, so this length AB here will be half of 10 or 5 centimeter. Let's join OB here. And in this pink triangle, the length OB, that's the radius of bigger circle. Let's call it capital R. And the length OA, that will be same as the diameter of this circular hole. And that is 2R, small r. Now here applying Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, we get R square is 2R square plus 5 square. Now here this 2R square is 4R square and let's take it on the LHS. So we get R square minus 4R square is 25. Let's multiply full equation on left and right side by pi. So we get pi R square minus 4 pi R square is 25 pi. Pi R square, that's the area of full big uh, blue circle and four times of pi r square that's area of these four small circular holes so pi r square minus four pi r square that's the area of remaining blue region and that's what we had to find so area of blue region is nothing but 25 pi centimeter square and that's our answer and let's discuss our second approach that is logical approach to start with, let's first make a copy of this figure. Now here in the original question, there is no relative information related to size of this circular holes and size of this bigger circle. Only limiting factor is the size of length of this chord, which is 10 centimeter. So if we reduce the size of the circular hole, accordingly we'll have to reduce the size of this circle so that the length of this green chord shall remain 10 centimeter then our answer will remain same as the original conditions are not changed. Here, if you'll compare, you'll find that this new figure, it still meets all the conditions and data related to the original figure. And thus the answer should remain same. That is the blue region in both the figure should remain same because they are meeting exactly same condition. If blue region is not same, then the question will become invalid. So let's do one thing here and reduce the size of this circle with uh, this circular holes to point holes. Now here the new figure, it still meets all the original conditions of our question. Only thing is the punch holes, which were there bigger in size before they are now pinpoint in shape and thus the loss of area because of this pinpoint holes is negligible. And does the green chord which was there 10 centimeter will now become the diameter of the circle with radius 5 centimeter and the blue area will be the area of full circle that is pi r square or 25 pi centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then tata bye bye.